Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going Q4 of the Bible Weekly Contest 105, Greatest Common Divisor Traversal. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So this one, um, I actually don't know if this is true. And let me know if in the comments or Discord or whatever if this is true. But I believe, I, I really think we did a similar poem um, before. On lead code, even. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just a, a code force thing, and, I, and I've still done it, but forgot. But the core, the, the, the tricky part about this poem is that there are multiple components. Uh, no pun intended, but it's just that you have to solve different things, right? There are two things. One is, okay, GCD component. And then the other is, well, how do you you know, traverse between all pairs of indices. So the first thing that I look at is the, con uh, so to be honest, the first thing in my head when I was solving this problem is that I was like, oh, it's just union fine because basically, you know, you have a connected component um, and if you can connect all pairs together, then in one connected component, then we return true otherwise is false, right? So that part I got directly. And then I took a look at the constraints. I was like, oh, it's 10 to the fifth. And of course, each number is 10 to the fifth as well. Then I was like, okay, how do, you know, that becomes a, a different problem as well, is how do we solve the GCD component, right? And the way that I did it is by factorization. Um, the idea is that you factor every number, um, and, and when you factor every number, um, for example, if if two numbers share um, the same factor, and it doesn't, it, it could be a prime factor, and it a prime factor is the most basic thing that it could be a GCD of, because if you uh, uh, if you share a factor that's not prime, then you could break that number and composite number into a prime, uh, you know, a product of prime numbers, right? So basically, uh, yeah. So, so you can the way that I did it is by connecting. Um, okay, let's say we have a number and we break it down to its prime components. Then all we have to do is just say, and I should now that I think about it, I did a little bit sloppily, but it was still fast enough, I guess. Um, it's just that okay. Another way to say it in English, and implementation is a little bit, you know, we'll go through it. But in English, it's just like, okay, all numbers that have two as a factor, um, you know, all even numbers, let's put them together in one group, right? That means that because, as, you know, uh, the way that you could say is that all numbers that are even, you can't, the GCD of them will be at least two. It could be more, it could be another number, but it's definitely not one is the point, right? Which is the, uh, the part of this problem. And you do the same thing for number three, number five, number seven, and so forth. And that's really all that is, uh, is connecting all the numbers together in these prime factors, and then using union find to connect them. Um, so this part, uh, the first of all is going to be, this is the SIF, uh, or SIF of Eridadonis. I always feel like I say this one. Yeah. And I was just in Athens not that long ago. But in any case, yeah, this is just a classic SIF. Um, so I think a lot of people have this templated as well. Uh, I spent a little bit time because I had a bug in this. Uh, and during the contest or during the virtual contest, I typed it out all live. Um, but yeah, but basically it's just saying, okay, um, yeah, get the t factor and set it as the previous number that it got divided by. And that's pretty much it. That's the SIF. And then this part is the union file. Oops, uh, you're fine. Uh, yeah, and basically this is just regular union fine. I'm not going to go over union fine or the SIF that much in detail in this video. To be honest, it's just because I'm a little bit lazy uh, in the sense that it is 12.40 a.m. and I need to sleep soon, but also because I'm traveling. So, uh, yeah, I, you know. And also both of these things can, eh, maybe the SIF you can probably... Uh, watch a video in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and you'll get at least the core ideas. I even have videos, and I've done this explanation in the past. So yeah, Union finds a little bit harder and a little bit trickier, especially with the analysis. Um, if you haven't seen it before, but I definitely urge you to kind of just do that research. And then, the, and then after that, like we said, we collected the same factors. 
uh, for each number. So for each number, we start and then we kind of factor it one by one and we put it into the, uh, a list of things that we do. And then after that, we just uh, union it with the same number, the first number, and because, you know, transitive properly. And then at the end, we just see if uh, everything belongs to one component. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see, what's the, um, what's the complexity here, right? I'm not going to do the proof here. It's a little bit tricky. The if is going to be n log n, or in this case, m log m. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, m log m. Uh, make sure, sure that I say that correctly. So m log m. So yeah, this is, uh, every operation is, I'm hand wavy over here. Um, you can assume that it's all of one-ish. It's not 100% precise, but for now, let's just say it is. Um, and if you do learn about union find, you could be more precise. But for now, that, let's take that. Um, yeah, so this one is just collecting factorization. Each, uh, so the, the biggest number in 10 to the fifth is, uh, or the number with the most number of factors, prime factors, it's going to be a power of two, right? So what is that? Like, 20 it's less than 20 even like 15 or 16 so that means that for each number we do log m which is 16 or something like this operation so everything is i guess log n log m if you want to call it that uh and here for the same reason uh, because say same the the total number of things inside uh uh, you know, the indexes and stuff like this, uh, every is M, there's N log M number of values in summation. So this, but in any case, this is O of 1. So it's O of N log M times O of 1. And this is just O of N. So, so, um, so the total complexity uh, is going to be O of N log, uh, N log M plus m log m or you know you could simplify it however you like uh but yeah and of course and this is gonna be o of m space and keeping in mind that m is not in the input right uh m is a number representing the max number in the input which requires log m uh uh bits to represent which means that this is an exponential thing so yeah if you want to say it like that but yeah uh let me just and that's all i have but i'm going to show you you know the top of my code the bottom of my code and that's all i have you can watch me solve it live next and let me know what you think bye bye okay fine <clears throat> Okay, greatest common divisor traversal. Okay. This is just union fine. Ten to the fifth. Hmm. What is square root of ten to the fifth again? Is that fast enough? Do we prime factor it? Oh, do we do shift, 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 shift? Yeah, I guess so. Then it's just a few more factors, right? Okay, fine. Uh, how do I do shift again? I do it this way. I always I always forget. Hmm. Is it 
No, it's less than the way that I did it, I think. infinite loop uh, dumb okay do, 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 that's fine okay that looks okay um yeah okay so then now I guess we have to do the. Uh, usually, I copy and paste in my Union Find, to be honest, but. But. Why not? I mean, I'm, this is a fun one. Well, like, it's good practice to, to do it. I think once in a while. Practice. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> Naming things is hard. Force. Is this a true force thing. Uh, could use a true force, true, true force, true. May time out though, we'll see. Oh, hmm. Oh, I didn't do the ones, do I? I silliness. I returned true uh, because of this thing. 
I guess I just didn't really consider once. I just was thinking about farm factorization. Uh, okay. Please, no more edge cases. Okay. There's a lot of typing. But Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm and this contest. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.